quickly I got new light modifiers and new lights today so I enhanced my studio shot this is the key light it's Godox F600BI and it's like I know it's the overkill it's running at 6.5% but I really like this light and it gives this really soft look for the old man like me it's great so this is the Godox just a key light then yeah so you can see it's a strip of light on this part of my face which yeah probably is nice so now we got two lights now I got a hair light which is more like a shoulder light so doesn't make a difference I think it does but not sure it's a positive difference but anyway this is that then I got a practical which I can turn with my leg but still it is like missing some texture I mean there is a texture on the garage door behind me but it's rather dirt than the texture yeah like I cannot clean it I tried and it's like dirt texture but let me try this one before I got P60C illuminating some color there but now I can put a texture there and this texture is like that so actually that that looks amazing in my opinion although maybe it's a bit too bright yeah like probably the practical is too bright although it's kind of hard to kind of hard to tame this practical but I have to say this looks dope so I'm running this at 40% I'm running the shoulder light at 40% also and this uh, strip of light here is running at 67% it really small Ulanzi lightsaber or whatever you call it but I guess the final shot looks nice and I can ch of course change the texture if I choose different gobo but I have chosen the I have chosen the bricks which I think look nice I have to see how this looks on the second angle because I mean now I'm in log and it looks a bit weird like the colors are a bit weird but generally I think that look is quite nice so I can turn off some lights like I don't know maybe that practical is no, without a practical is lame so practical is cute although although I should tame the practical I got a dimmer but this dimmer doesn't work great with this light I mean I can I can try I would go grab a dimmer I think it's better but the problem with this dimmer is that that sometimes sometimes it start to flicker if the setting is too low the the bulb starts starts to flicker and it doesn't look that great so I don't know maybe it's too dramatic like there is like darker strip on my face it gives my face the texture but but I don't know maybe actually the F600B should be more straight but the small problem with this is that the camera is farther back because this is 85 so yeah but I think that those looks are quite nice I'm looking unfortunately at the monitor which is below the lens so that's why I'm looking a bit weird but maybe this bricks needs straightening uh, not sure I have straightened this but actually it looks nice so yeah that's the like quick look I created within like I don't know 15 minutes or so I guess the longest part 
uh, was to, to like adjust the headlight slash shoulder light let's remove everything practical i can remove the practical i have to reconnect that's quite annoying part of the that it reconnects every time but i can power down this one maybe i should create the presets save to press probably won't be able to because the lame thing is that this application seems that it saves to cloud so i would rather want to save the presets locally but okay anyway i think this texture is it this is amazing this gives like a lot of a lot of depth to the shot in my opinion and the thing is that maybe i can i can blur it with uh, with the setting of the of actually of the spotlight hard to say which one is better i think the focused one is better so it's blurred anyway turning this off turning the shoulder light now turning the shoulder light turning off this one it was illuminating a, i guess a bit the background too so maybe i can flag it but maybe actually it was okay and now it's just a key light so i can turn this off too so once again key light this kind of rim light maybe although like my hair is still still quite dark so maybe maybe i should put the shoulder light higher but the problem is that there is a garage door garage gate which would crash it if i forget about it i already once crashed a light on three so i don't want to try it shoulder light maybe that shoulder should be farther pushed farther back i'm not sure but i think it looks okay it's not much of the headlight like my my hairline is not good for the hairlight actually but it i think it's hitting back of my head yeah like i'm not sure yeah maybe it's not i don't know yeah now it is hitting back of my head so maybe it is better that way i know maybe i have to angle it better but this is the headlight and then there is a texture which i think this texture is the, the best part of the of the shot i'm not sure like even this one is yeah maybe it's okay but i guess the texture is what gives well i think the shoulder is also as yes, this separates me from the from the background i think it's hard to probably yes anyway these are all looks i can create with this setup and there are one two three four lights actually uh, one is turned off at the moment so maybe i can actually see how this looks without the key so without the key that there's the texture and that's a good idea that the texture light which now seems like more intensive there is the i guess there is the this shoulder slash does it makes a difference i think it does maybe should be a bit more to the back but i will experiment with this and there is this thing 
and this actually doesn't hit me maybe maybe there is some reflection but i have to say this is actually amazing the texture the texture is i think the best part of 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 this setup so i highly recommend the spotlight se this is 36 degrees version and it is like three meters away from from the wall behind me so 19 wouldn't cut it 19 would be would be too small although if i'm like six meters away from the background then the then the 19 would be better choice actually and that's with the key I mean the problem the small problem with this key is that the grid is not good so I would probably order better grid next month or so because that actually this hits the the background so yeah maybe I would also try like 600d with with light dome 3 to see if maybe this is better but in terms of the softness the godox f600 bi is just 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 the best so i guess that that's it that was a quick quick view of what what you can do with this kind of budget lights from amaran and aperture and that's the look i got cheers mate <laughs>